going on? My name's JR. I'm the president of 420 Latin Way. I'm Justin. I'm the vice president. And, and we're, we're about, about to, to show, show you how we do it in Medford. Medford. Welcome to the suite. here two doubles six singles we got beautiful kitchen it's kind of dirty right now but you know screw that we got a nice tv the ps4 and the wii so. we getting pretty hard <laughs> you know we got the wii u that's how we do it out here fire extinguisher you gotta have that safety first we got our first double right here a man big man what's going on ben what's good studious as always we'll let him chill we got our first single right here a man julian Chose a lot in there. Good guy, he's not here right now. We got our first bathroom, floss every single day. Always gotta remind the crew that we gotta stay healthy. Another beautiful single. This is definitely the most decorated out of all the singles. Man, Justin lives here, vice president. All right, let's see if my man Diego's here. He's the rush chair. Yo, Diego. It was good. Oh, oh fuck. Shit. shit. Sorry about that. Yo, Diego, can we come in now? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm just doing some reading, sir. What's up? All right, we'll let you work. All right, for sure. See you guys later. Academics first. I told them I wouldn't. I retired from the force nine months ago after a three decade career busting the filthiest cheaters and sleaziest booze hounds the Medford Somerville area had to offer. But even the oldest dogs see that day come when they need to turn in their badge. But somehow, some way, they drag me back in. You see, there's a new fraternity on campus, Suite 420. And as soon as they opened, the reports began to flood in. Raging, boofing, hazing, and all kinds of vice were rampant. So they sent me inside. I rushed, pledged, butt chugged the whole nine yards. I paid my dues and became the rush chair. But I could tell those folks were worse than petty drunks. Sweet 420 was fishier than the dining hall on Chow Today. It was this Julian character. He was missing. The time was 5.15 p.m. Rainy day at the institution like usual. The clouds were a blanket, darkening every nook and cranny on campus. Perfect conditions for murder. I was making my way to pick up a pot of smokes. That's when I saw those hooligans. A couple 420 brothers were looking over some poor soul, emotionless, lying there in the dirt. And that was when I knew. Hey! Shit! 